James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is December 29, 2022, 1 30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, we've had two M class solar flares already today, and one of them lasted over 45 minutes in the M range. Our first M flare looks to be about a M1.2. And our second M flare that almost has a little M shape on the top of it looks like an M2.45, very 2.46 is actually what I was told by NASA. So that works out perfect. Now, believe it or not, that is 45 minutes of straight M flare right there. Now, all the flaring is coming from Sunspot AR3176. Very strange how AR3169 still hasn't made it around the limb. It actually appears as if AR3176 is catching it, but that would probably be impossible, right? Headed over to Ghost Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms. We jump over to AR3176 and we actually see the M flare occur and all the activity surrounding it. It is rather hard to see, but you can definitely see it. This one covers the last hour and you can see the flare actually occur. And a small tsunami, it looks like it went towards the center of the sun. This is going to most definitely have an Earth component. We should be hit by chromal mass ejection from this solar flare within about 48 hours from now. So we're looking for an impact on the 31st. Now we have a big chromal hole that will soon be Earth facing as well. Right now, Solar winds and plasma are very, very mild. All right, this is the beginning of the impact of the M flare. I want to show you all something. Remember the small M shape we saw on top of the double spiked M flare that lasted over 45 minutes? Watch. There's the first one. Continue on. And there's the stronger second spike of the M flare. Do that again real quick. It happens very quickly. One, down, two. Now let's head back and look at GOES solar x-ray flux and see if this matches what we see. And in fact it does. Although it's hard to imagine that just that little M shape right there created too much stronger, well, x-ray problems in the little trough in between them but we saw that that was true according to our x-ray absorption chart so we got a double whammy in the form of a single whammy that lasts 45 minutes in the m flare zone again expect an impact on the 31st in the form of a coronal mass ejection and I will keep you updated about that in inbound flare. There very well could be one before that here, because remember we also saw the M1.2 right around 7.30 UTC time. God bless you and yours, folks. Share and subscribe. Always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.